thank you, Julie. Juliet, over 20 set. I'm lo my engine power is not full, and I'm getting a fair bit of turbulence, so requesting straight in. I can't get up to full engine power. Thank you, Juliet. Juliet, uh, Pitaro, okay, I check all of that. Uh, we can offer you runway 18, and uh, wind is 260 at 7. Uh, would you be clear straight in? Uh, do you prefer that, or would you prefer 26 left? Straight in, uh, runway 18. Yankee, Yankee, okay, roger. Uh, runway 18, like I said, wind uh, 260 at 7, and you're cleared straight in. Thank you, Julia, Julia. Roger. Mike Papa, stand by. Uh, there's traffic uh, with the engine issue. This is Yankee Julie. Julie, I can't get above 1,900 RPM. Currently at 1,600 feet. Not sure if I'll make the field or if I will have to land at a field prior. Thank you, Julie. Julie, okay, check your mark. Uh, we're clearing the sky for you, so just uh, continue inbound for runway 18. Not sure if I'm going to make the airfield. I'm going to complete a precautionary landing on one of the farms. Uh, one of the farms here, just near the blasting area. Uniform Sulu Delta Tower, uh, there's an aircraft in distress just around the blasting area. Could you uh, fly to that area? They're attempting to land in one of the fields in that area. You could uh, just keep an eye out and then give us an update uh, when they're landing. Uniform Sulu Delta Tower, Roger, no worries. We'll keep an eye out. Okay, thank you. So, Yankee, Julie, Julie, Dye, check all that. Tower, Bravo, Charlie, Charlie, Sky Helicopters requesting a northbound departure to see if I can help uh, once he's on the ground. Uh, aircraft for Sky, I appreciate that. What was the ident again? We'll get you more that. Uh, Bravo, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, Bravo, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, pick ground uh, wind 2608, altimeter 3008, and I'll give you a new warp code 3075, contact tower 126, decimal 3, ready to lift. And I am on tower at this time, requesting northbound to that distress aircraft. So we're in the problem with the uh, can you say again uh, where Yankee Gila Gila's boss is? Uniform Blue Delta Tower, they're about uh, two miles east of you around uh, the Alouette River at 800 feet, slowly uh, descending. All right, we have them in sight, Uniform Blue Delta. Okay, Roger, thank you. Tower, Bravo Charlie Charlie requesting northbound to that distressed aircraft. He does uh, have to do a precautionary in the field, I think that could be of some assistance if it's required. Bravo Charlie Charlie, yeah, appreciate that. Uh, you're good northbound for departure, wind 250 at 9, take off. Sky, your discretion, and they're uh, just about a mile uh, east of the uh, blasting area right now, slowly descending. Electronics and securing engine. Bravo, Charlie, Charlie Tower. I last saw the target on radar uh, just uh, about a mile uh, east of the blasting area around the river there. A mile east of the blasting area. Okay, I'll copy that. I have no sight at the sun. I'll keep it for Roger, thank you. That's Tower. It's Bravo, Charlie, Charlie. I've got a uh, DLT uh, signal going off here. Charlie, Charlie, okay, Roger, thank you. And, uh, yeah, he was in, in and around that area, maybe just, uh, yeah, about uh, a little slightly west of where you currently are from where he dropped off on radar. Okay, copy that. And yeah, what altitude would you lose him on radar? About 200, 200 feet, I think, when I, did, I lost him. Okay, copy that. Thank you. I'll stay on this frequency. Yes. Delta, I see some uh, uh, dust uh, from the uh, farmer's field uh, at my 3 o'clock, one mile. Bike there, Delta. Okay, Roger, thank you. The tower says I want to see Fox Rogers to the Fox Rogers up by the power lines over by the uh, Pit Lake area there. Has anybody got eyes on this airplane yet, or are we still looking? Mm -hmm. uh, helicopter, Bravo, Charlie, Charlie, still looking, no contact. All right, we'll keep looking, too. Yeah, Mike, sir, Delta, still no contact. Mike, sir, Delta, any updates on the uh, distress aircraft? Mike, sir, Delta, not at this time, no. And the tower of regular Fox Rogers was the last uh, spot on radar that was just one mile to the east of the blasting area north of 2010. Last call, say again. I was just looking for the last uh, known spot of that uh, distressed aircraft that was on radar. The information we've got, it was just to the east of, the, of Sheridan Hill, and, but north of the of Alouette River, where it go, to the, which is uh, southeast of Sheridan Hill. Break, break, break. Tower, it's Bra Fox Bravo, Charlie, Charlie. They have the downed aircraft in sight. Uh, just basically one mile directly east of, uh, of the blast area of the hill. Charlie, Charlie, uh, Roger, and uh, do you see anybody outside of the aircraft moving around? I do at this time, but it uh, could be just the farmers. I'll give you some information here as quickly as I can. I'll let you know if uh, everybody is okay. Robert, Charlie, Charlie, Roger, and uh, can you see if there's, uh, identify if there's any road nearby the field where they are? 
Yeah, but as I don't know the name, I'm going to go check for what he's okay on here. But I see him to be uh, uh, a, uh, an address. Charlie, Charlie, Roger, really appreciate your help. Thank you. Like I said, Delta, we're ready to come back. Uh, the plane is in the ditch and flip over. Say again? The plane is in the ditch and flip over, and we're ready to come back. Uh, uh, the helicopter is checking if everyone is okay. That's like six, six towers, uh, Fox, Bravo, Charlie, Charlie, both Fox, and then the aircraft are okay. They both walk around, and uh, we'll just have a chat with them, and we'll probably fly them back to the airport. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, Roger, um, and... Uh you said there is a road or an intersection near that field, correct? Yeah, they're right at somebody's farm there, so I'll just go and talk to the people. I'll get some information for you, and I'll get back to you when I, uh, when I left with the, uh, with the two passengers. Robert, Charlie, Charlie, Roger, thanks.